This stop in front of San Diego police headquarters was about crime. The president was flanked by cops, deputies, border patrol agents, and law enforcement chiefs, including the nation's top cop, Attorney General Janet Reno. He praised San Diego's community policing system, a model on cooperative government. And I am very proud of what they've done. They've put aside politics and put the people of this community first, their safety first, their future first. But this speech about policing was a political speech. And moments before it started, Reno handed out a report on fighting crime at the border. The president used it to pitch a few campaign broadsides. For a lot of years, people in public life at election time talked tough about immigration, but didn't do much about it. We tried to change that. We tried to substitute deeds for words. To California's Governor Pete Wilson, who attacks Washington for not sending money. I have done what I could to get more money into California in very difficult fiscal circumstances in Washington to help you deal with the cost of illegal immigration more than ever before. To the city of San Diego, where the traffic of illegal immigration has only moved east. Recent wildfires in the open lands of the East County blamed on undocumented immigrants. I heard what was said earlier about the threats facing San Diego residents in East County, particularly with the onset of the fire season. Today, I have asked the Secretary of Agriculture, Dan Glickman, to send 20 more law enforcement officers to Cleveland National Forest. And they'll be there by the close of business today.